Ukrainian member of parliament, Sofia Fedina, in Kyiv for us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting and thank you that you care. Of course we do. And give us a sense of what Kyiv has faced in just the past 24 hours as far as the Russian attacks on the city. What are you seeing right now? Right now we had once again the air alarm and all the people have gone to the safe places. But actually every half an hour in Kyiv happens like this and people, especially at the evening time, in the majority sit in the safe places uh, or in the metro station that is uh, very deep here in Kyiv, so it's safe for people. On the other hand, we know that there is uh, ongoing attack uh, on Kyiv and some regiments of airborne forces of Moscow Federation want to enter the city, but Ukrainian army is defending um, and doing its best. Also, we know the information that tanks were approaching all the time and several times during the day. Uh, also, there was a shelling of Kyiv, but our anti-aircraft system was working quite good and only the pieces of the rockets were ruining the buildings, but still the result resistance is keeping strong, both army, territorial defense, volunteers, and all the people in all the regions of Ukraine. Uh, you know, it's uh, in the times of war, it's hard to get jokes, but we uh, joke here in Ukraine that Putin and his invasion united all Ukraine, united to for 100%. Very true, um, and and I'm glad you guys can can still have a, some some upbeat spirit in, in the midst of all of this. You know, we have a correspondent, Ian Panel, who's on the ground in Kiev, and and today he had the opportunity to ask President Zelensky, how long uh, can you hold out against the Russian advance? And and the president's response was, I don't know. And I know that Ukrainian people have shown just tremendous resilience and a willingness to fight for your country. But how long do you think that you can keep it up as Russia continues to press and continue? continues its advance. First of all, we were getting ready for this for the last eight years because it was ongoing Moscow aggression. The invasion started not only on the 24th of February 2022, but it started on the 20th of February 2014. And at that time, we had only 5,000 soldiers in in Ukrainian army. In the next years, we were building the army up to 255,000 and we have never had such a big support from civilians from common people because almost every village every small town every city they have their own territorial defense forces and they have their own volunteers and everyone is uh, working for ukrainian victory of course we are really grateful for our international partners that they started to help us especially uh, with the position of the united states but the question is that maybe at some point all together help was a bit too late because I think that if we had implemented some more sanctions previously in advance, maybe there would not be such a big invasion and such a bloodshed right now in Ukraine. The problem is uh, when you ask the question, how long can we stand? I know that Ukrainians will fight till the very victory because it's we understand that this is the fight for our existence, for our independence. But on the other hand, this is the mutual international on, world fight for democracy, human rights, peace and security. Uh, we need to close the sky somehow to get rid of the rockets and of the planes of Moscow Federation. There is just bombing and shelling us sometimes from the territory of Moscow Federation, sometimes from the territory of Belarus. And how to close it, it's also a question uh, to give Ukraine as much uh, defensive weapon, lethal weapon as possible, but also all the other uh, possible military aid as uh, the army is growing every, every hour me uh, every hour. And, and Sophia, I know that you have a, a leadership role, um, but I'm just curious for you and, and your family, how you're managing to stay safe through all of this. Uh, are you planning to stay in Kyiv as well? Uh, actually, I've been to Kyiv uh, when everything started. Then I went for a few days to Lviv because my husband is in airborne forces. And on Monday, he went to one of the most uh, complicated places uh, in the, the war zone where Moscow Federation Army attacked. Now I returned to Kyiv to work in the parliament and we had, as we had an extraordinary meeting. And who knows, it seems that in the next few days, I will go to the east or to the north uh, to find out 
about how we can more help people. Actually, every member of parliament has to do this, and we have to be as close to our people and to help as much as we can. Um, but, but just it's complicated. Just second, yes. Just how do you stay so strong? in the midst of, of all of this that's, that's happening all around you. you know, I've been a volunteer for Ukrainian army. And in these years, it has become like an uh, integral part of me. We have to do this because our soldiers on the front line, it's uh, much harder for them than for us to be in a peaceful places, in the safe places. So we have to do everything possible for them to have a chance to survive. That's the most important part, and this is a big motivation. On the other hand, my family suffered from very heavy repressions of uh, the Soviet Union. I sh should not been born because my mother was repressed. Uh, almost of my family, of my mother's side, where uh, they starved to death in the great famine times. My father's family was persecuted because the grandfather was a priest. And I think every second family in Ukraine has such a story. So we are fighters. We know how to survive and we know how to fight for our rights and for our own country. That is what is uniting Ukraine today as well. We know that our fight is right. Ukrainian Member of Parliament, Sofia Fedina, we thank you so much for joining us tonight. Appreciate you sharing your story and what you guys are going through. Uh, we really just appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.